So for today's video, I want to talk about something that I've actually been meaning to get around to for a really long time. But with all the news that's been coming out on Jurassic World Dominion, Camp Cretaceous Season 2, and everything else that the franchise is going forward with at the moment, it's taken a while to get to, but now I want to finally discuss something from JP3. Specifically, something that may or may not have been changed from the infamous Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Spinosaur fight from that movie. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now, in this video, I'm gonna go over something that I think a few people have talked about before in the past, but they haven't really gone in full detail into every specific thing that is questionable with the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Spinosaurus fight as it relates to something that came directly from that film. Now, if you grew up with Jurassic Park 3, or maybe if you at least bought Jurassic Park 3 on DVD back in 2001, you'll no doubt be aware of the Jurassic Park 3 size chart that came with the film. Now, in this size chart, they list a bunch of animals in the movie and compare them to a Dr. Grant style character in terms of how big or small they are. And the T-Rex was one that was very interesting because in this DVD release, they specifically state that the animal is a sub-adult and that it's kind of smaller than the other T-Rexes that we had seen before in the first two movies. It's actually more comparable to something like the Ceratosaurus, which was a much, much smaller dinosaur in the film. But of course, that dinosaur wasn't going up against the Spinosaurus that the T-Rex did in JP3. So it looks like if you take this information at face value, that the Tyrannosaur in Jurassic Park 3 was a much smaller dinosaur and that's probably why it got rolled by the Spinosaurus so quickly but there's a lot more information that has to do with the Jurassic Park 3 era and specifically what went on behind the scenes with this movie that I think we should talk about because this whole idea of the T-Rex in that movie being not fully grown has sort of taken a life of its own and it's in a lot of encyclopedia type stuff on the internet. It's what a lot of Jurassic Park people hold near and dear to their heart when it comes to that whole fight. You know, the idea that oh, this guy wasn't fully grown. There's theories out there that this T-Rex may have even been the infant from the Lost World. Well, when they were making the movie and actually I think even when the movie came out, that could be a different story. So probably the first thing that contradicts the entire sub-adults theme that's going on with the size chart is the fact that the animatronic T-Rex that was actually used in Jurassic Park 3 was the bull T-Rex from the Lost World. All they really did was repaint the latex and make it a little more new before sending it off to go fight the new Spinosaurus animatronic. Now admittedly, this animatronic is not in Jurassic Park 3 much at all. In fact, after it roars at Alan Grant when he makes the joke, nobody moves a muscle, it isn't really in the fight at all either. And that's because they cut a lot of scenes out due to technical difficulties with the Spinosaur animatronic and the T-Rex animatronic during filming. But long story short, what they really just did behind the scenes was take the bull Rex from the Lost World, redress it, and make it fight the Spinosaurus. Now, as everyone knows by now, I'm sure, that bull T-Rex was fully grown. It was a big, daddy, large T-Rex, which kind of contradicts the sub-adult size chart that was released with the DVD. However, if we actually look at more information, specifically in what's left of the Jurassic Park 3 film script, we can see that here it is also addressed as a full-grown bull. And there isn't really any indication that this thing isn't a giant-sized, big, full-grown dinosaur. This is also followed up in the junior novelization for Jurassic Park 3, where, again, it's noted that the dinosaur is fully grown. It's not a sub-adult or a junior T-Rex whatsoever. Now, the reason all of this stuff seems to contradict what was released with the actual DVD is, in my opinion, more than likely due to the backlash that this movie received after the Spinosaurus killed the T-Rex so easily. If you were alive in 2001, or at least aware of what was going on, this T-Rex and Spinosaur fight was kind of hyped in a lot of TV spots. There was a lot of posters that were showing the jaws facing each other, like it was going to be some sort of big, epic, climactic battle or event. And when you actually saw the movie, it was very quick, and it was more of the actual message that got fans upset than the outcome itself, because... 
this Spinosaurus just obliterates the T-Rex super quick. And I'm sure everyone by now, if you watch my videos, you're well aware of the fact that when the movie came out, Spinosaurus was not liked by a lot of people at all because of how they interpreted this fight on the big screen. Now, if you weren't alive in 2001, or if you, I don't know, haven't really given this much thought, I'll try to give you an example for how it felt for a lot of fans back in the day. Imagine if you were a Star Wars fan and Darth Vader was like the big bad for the last two movies. You want to go see Star Wars, Darth Vader was the big bad. You want to go see Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader was again there being super brutal, being super mean. He was the villain of the franchise. Well, imagine if you walk into Return of the Jedi and then all of a sudden a new guy, Kylo Ren, shows up out of nowhere with no explanation and he fights Darth Vader for 30 seconds before chopping off his head. And then for the whole rest of the movie, you've got Kylo Ren kind of terrorizing everybody else. It was very jarring. And I think for a lot of people, the whole messagery of, hey, this is a bigger, badder dinosaur. You need to forget the T-Rex and just never think about it ever again. It rubbed them the wrong way. Now, of course, that was 20 years ago. A lot of us have grown up. I personally don't really put much stock in the whole thing. I don't care about that fight. It's It happened. It was a long time ago. I know there are people that desperately want the T-Rex to fight the Spinosaurus again and kill it. I'm not one of those people. I understand where they're coming from, but in my personal opinion, look. I've learned that time heals all wounds and it's just a movie at the end of the day anyways we've seen the t-rex roll a whole bunch of other dinosaurs now even after jurassic park 3 so it's not really something that let's just say i lose sleep at night I, it's not really something that bothers me however one thing that i do think is interesting with this whole dilemma is the fact that it's very likely they changed the size of the t-rex from jurassic park 3 which if you watch the film looks like it's fully grown into something of a sub-adult tinier version for the size chart and I think this was specifically done in order to quell fans who were upset with how that fight scene turned out. Now I say this and I also want to bring up the fact that there's actually this image right here that I'm going to put on the screen of a behind the scenes guy working on Jurassic Park 3 designing dinosaurs and doing all kinds of stuff and if you look at the size chart he's using in the background it's very different from the one that came with the DVD and it looks to me, and I might be going crazy here, I know a lot of people think that it, this could be just the exact same sized animal, but it looks to me that the T-Rex is noticeably stockier, bigger, and I don't know, it looks pretty full grown in this size chart compared to what was released with the DVD. Now, in both instances, the actual height of the Rex looks to be like three blocks on the overall size dimension grid, but that doesn't necessarily mean, in my opinion, that these things are a one-one comparison. I mean, if you actually look at the T-Rexes from both of these size charts, in my opinion, it looks like what they were working on behind the scenes has a much bigger Rex that is at the very least more muscular than what was shown in that size chart for JP3's DVD. Now, all I'm really trying to say here, and this is an open book, you guys can interpret this any way you want, but from my own eyes, it looks like, yeah, they probably told all the fans that that T-Rex was smaller because they got upset over the fact that the Spinosaurus killed it so quickly. So they wanted an excuse for all the fans to go, oh, it's okay. It wasn't a full-grown T-Rex, but from all of this other stuff, you know, the film script, the junior novelization, the size chart behind the scenes, the actual movie itself, they used the bull animatronic. Some people, my friend Jack Ewens, who actually did a video on this before in the past, he's even joked around with the fact that it could be the bull T-Rex from The Lost World. I don't agree with that, and I, I'm pretty sure he's just joking, but it was supposed to be a full-grown T-Rex. I'm pretty certain when they made this movie, there was no indication or even a thought in anybody's head that they should make the T-Rex smaller because the whole reason the Spinosaurus kills the T-Rex in the movie is just to say, hey, we've got a new big bad dinosaur that's better than anything you've seen before. Buy the toy, watch our new movie, be excited at the different design. And 
I think that might be why when it came time for the DVD, they were like, hey, let's let's at least change the size in this chart. That way fans can have something in their head and point to this chart as evidence for this Rex being smaller than all the others. But I'm telling you guys, all the other evidence from the Stan Winston guys, the film script, the junior novelization, and you could even take this size chart from behind the scenes. I don't think that T-Rex in Jurassic Park 3 was a sub-adult or not fully grown at all. But hey, that's just what I've been gathering for myself with all this evidence. I never want to give you guys an opinion that I don't have like stuff to back it up with unless it's just something subjective. So I've given you all this stuff. You've seen Jurassic Park 3. I want to know what your thoughts are on all of this subject matter. Maybe you're like me and you think with all this other stuff, hey, that T-Rex was probably a full-grown adult and they changed it later on down the line just to quell fans who weren't really happy with the outcome. Nevertheless, whatever your answer has to be, or opinion, I should say, I'd love to hear all that you guys have to say about it in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that all of you continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.